Hello, my Whoop friends. In this video, I want to answer the question of whether a main cable with a larger cross-section in the size AWG20 is better than the stock AWG22 main cable with the smaller cross-section. I've already made several videos on this topic, and actually it should be clear to everyone what advantages an AWG20 main cable has for tiny whoops in the 75mm to 85mm size. And I suspected that these advantages would also apply to 65mm tiny whoops, but I had never tested it until now. But now I've also tested it on the 65mm tiny whoop size, and I'm excited to present the results to you, which you can see later in this video. The 65mm tiny whoop I used for these test flights was the newbie drone Hummingbird Race Spec Tiny Whoop. I always use the exact same Tattoo 1 SHV 300 mAh 75C LiPo for the test flights. That means I charged the LiPo and first did a freestyle race flight to break in the LiPo. After that, I recharged the exact same LiPo, then I did test flight 1. After that, I recharged the exact same LiPo and did test flight 2. Then I resoldered the tiny whoop with an AWG20 main cable using the exact same main connector from the first test day. After resoldering, I did exactly the same test flights again the next day in exactly the same way with the exact same LiPo for each test flight. Also on day two, I first did the punch out test flight and then the circuit test flight with a throttle limit of 70%. So the whole thing was relatively scientific, at least as much as it could be. I did my best. To say one thing right away, I felt the difference immediately on the first freestyle race flight. Whether this difference is relevant enough for elite indoor whoop race pilots, I can't say, because I'm not an elite indoor whoop race pilot. But for pro pilots, the difference is most likely relevant. For me personally, the difference is definitely relevant, and the advantages outweigh the disadvantages. More on that later. Now I want to show you with the following footage that the difference is also visible. I did a punch out test without motor limit and a speed flight test with a motor limit of 70%. Let's start with the punch out tests, where the difference is most obvious. First, I'll show you the starting voltage, which already differs before the launch. In the stock main cable test, the voltage was 4.30 volts, and in the AWG20 main cable test, it was 4.33 volts. I already noticed this voltage difference in the hover test in my last video on the AWG20 main cable topic. However, the difference there was 0.02 volts. This difference of 0.01 volts between these two tests can be explained by the fact that the outside temperature during the AWG20 main cable punch-out test was about 3 degrees Celsius higher than on the day I conducted the stock main cable punch-out test. I'll now show you the punch-outs. In the large video, you can see the flight with the stock main cable, and in the small picture-in-picture -picture video, you can see the voltage and throttle position from the AWG20 main cable punch out. Unfortunately, it all happens very fast and you probably won't see much except for the low voltage blinking and the land now OSD warning, which appears significantly earlier during the stock main cable punch out. That's why I'm showing you a few screenshots of the voltage difference at various points during the punch out. I think it should now be clear to most viewers that the voltage with the AWG20 main cable is noticeably higher, despite the higher weight of the whoop. On top of that, I even did a third punch out with the AWG20 main cable, which I didn't even try with the stock main cable because it would have been so short. Actually, I should have done a third punch out with the stock cable too to show the difference even better. But for some reason, I unfortunately didn't do it. As far as I remember, I didn't want to strain the LiPo too much with the stock main cable and therefore didn't do a third punch out. I'll now show you the punch outs one after the other. First, the two punch outs with the stock main cable, and then the three punch outs with the AWG20 main cable. If you can benefit from this video and would like to support my work financially, you can now easily do so with a PayPal donation at www.co-fi.com slash butterfly FPV. Thanks for the support, my Whoop friends. Of course, I'm still happy to receive your comments. Now, back to the video. On the second test flight of each day, I set a throttle limit scale of 25% and a motor limit of 70% in beta flight and flew the tiny Whoopa circuit around two trees. With this test, I wanted to find out how the voltage behaves at an average throttle position of around 50 to 70%, as is likely the case in a Whoop race. 
I'll now show you a few screenshots from the flights where you can clearly see the voltage difference during flight. In the large image, you see the flight, respectively the voltage and throttle position with the stock main cable. And in the small image, you see the flight, respectively the voltage and throttle position with the AWG20 main cable. Again, it's clearly visible that the average voltage with the AWG20 main cable is slightly higher. I'll also show you the full videos later in the video, where you can watch how the voltage behaves during the flights. Unfortunately, the conditions weren't perfectly the same on the two test days. On the circuit test with the stock main cable on day one, it was a bit warmer, but there was a slight breeze. And on the circuit test with the AWG20 main cable on day two, it was about two degrees Celsius colder, but completely windless. All in all, I don't consider these differences in external conditions to be significant enough to have distorted the test results too much. My conclusion from these flight tests is the following. Basically, I consider an AWG20 main cable to also make sense on a 65 mm tiny whoop with high KV motors for most pilots. I felt the difference immediately. But I'm not an elite whoop race pilot. I can imagine, though it's hard, that for elite whoop race pilots, the additional weight of about 0.3 to 0.4 grams from the AWG20 main cable outweighs the benefit of the consistently higher voltage level. But for all other tiny whoop pilots, in my opinion, an AWG20 main cable would be advantageous. For pro pilots like me, for intermediate pilots, and even for beginner pilots, provided the necessary soldering skills are available. That brings us to the disadvantages of the AWG20 main cable. Soldering it to the flight controller is noticeably more difficult, especially the negative pole. Therefore, I can understand why some pilots pass on the advantages of the AWG20 main cable, since most flight controllers are not delivered with AWG20 main cables. I think this extra effort is also the reason why many skip the AWG20 main cable. For me personally, as a pro pilot, however, the advantages outweigh the disadvantages. I don't particularly enjoy soldering either, but I like the flight feeling with the AWG20 main cable and the longer flight time. I also did a hover flight time test with this tiny whoop, where I reached over four minutes of flight time using the exact same LiPo I used for the other test flights. You'll find this hover flight test later in this video. I hope I was able to show with this video that the advantages of the AWG20 main cable also applied to 65 millimeters tiny whoops with high KV motors, and that these advantages are not only noticeable, but also visible in the form of a higher voltage level throughout the entire flight. I hope this motivates one or another pilot to take on the extra effort and dare the conversion to an AWG20 main cable. Happy flying my whoop friends. If you can benefit from this video and would like to support my work financially, you can now easily do so with a PayPal donation at www.co-fi.com slash butterfly FPV. Thanks for the support, my whoop friends. Of course, I'm still happy to receive your comments.
Hello my Whoop friends. This video is part of a short video series where I try to share my experiences with the Meteor 75 Pro with you as well as all my Whoop knowledge. I'll try to show you valuable tips and tricks that should help you with the Meteor 75 Pro Whoop as well as with other tiny Whoops. Check out the other videos on my channel to get the most out of my many years of Whoop race and RC flying experience. Happy flying my Whoop friends!